Hey guys, MTG Noob here, and I am on the Magic the Gathering beta version of MTGO. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick run through and some thoughts on how it's looking so far. So we're on our homepage. Announcements will still be over here. Then you have your featured tournaments, um, which, you know, tell you what's coming up. I'll just click this standard four-rounder so you could see what happens when you actually click on something. You click details, and then you'll get the details, and it'll tell you, you know, okay, who's in it. We have 12 people joined, uh, what kind of tournament it is, the format, the deck, what I would choose, okay, the match limit, and the time, which is really nice until it begins, because a lot of times you will miss that, and then the entrant requirements. I won't be joining this tournament, okay, just down there, look at this, buddy signed in. Um, I think if they have a way to turn that off, I'd like to turn that off, because I know personally when I'm recording, I don't want anything jumping up on the screen, but maybe once you're in game, that doesn't come on, but you never, I don't really know, to be honest, I haven't played any games. All right, down here, you have all your buddies, if they have a green light next to their name, uh, means they're in, if they have a red light next to their name, means they're not in, okay, so those are the home page. Then you have your collection over here, and the cool thing about your collection is it, I could be completely wrong, but it, it seems to allow you to categorize by binder now, which means that you can, I guess, make a trade binder, so when you're trading, people don't have to look through your whole collection to see what they want, and you don't have to make things... Um, untradeable versus tradable. Uh, I could be wrong on that. You know, if you have more information, let me know. You obviously add a deck, add a deck category. Over here, you'll see some other things. Okay, other products. So it's like qualifier points. I could click on that, and you'll see I have three season seven, three, you know, so obviously not doing so good. I mean, if you add them all together, maybe I'll qualify for one of the seasons of the Magic Online Championship series. Um, but that's a lot better. I like this, you know, now I click standard and I have all my standard cards coming up. Um, it seems like they're coming up in alphabetical order. So I could uh, arrange them differently. I can view them differently over here. Okay, I can categorize them differently, which is nice because I personally didn't really like the way it was before. It was always a pain to get to your cards. So it seems like the collection is going to be much easier and like add deck, I think it means that I can import, you know, a deck from outside which is nice, add deck category. So I got to learn how to build a deck. I think currently you can't do that. I think you have to import one. And you know me, not being very computer savvy, that's not happening. All right, so we'll go to the store. We'll skip over play for a second. It just seems like it shows you all the products here. I click on this one, it'll give me a nice little description. So it seems like much faster loading time, which is always nice. They have different things. If I wanted one of the commander decks, I could add one of these to cart. Uh, payment over here. So let's say I wanted to add this one, and then you see it over here. Then I would have my payment. Proceed to checkout. So it seems like they made this client a lot more user-friendly. Okay, then you have trade over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now it looks like this is going to be where the classifieds go. And you can, you know, kind of type a message, I'm looking for this or that or that, you know, it's it's basically a way to kind of use the classifieds slash the community um, to your benefit to get your trades going. And then we have your account, which is my personal information, so I'm not going to click on that. And then you have your help over here. How do I open chat? Yada, yada. So this is just some issues probably for now that it's going over. And then I don't have a deck loaded and I am very bad at doing that so you know this is just the game features and it would be like over here so if I click construction constructed it gives me my cues and my scheduled events which is always nice um, if I wanted to do standard just for fun tournament practice just getting out getting serious I don't know what getting serious is I guess it's kind of like standard tournament practice where you're making that transition and you know you have some options over here permitted opponents allowed watchers 
things like that. Go to the next game, host a new game. So all those things are great. Uh, I don't have a deck, so I can't really show you these things. Um, I can click on some details, like I said earlier, and it'll give me the what's up. Okay, and then finally they have a chat feature. Uh, join a new chat challenge, chat with support, chat rooms. So you could see, you know, tournament practice. I'll jump in here, and then we'll see if I can, you know, a bunch of people are in here, and then I could say stuff like, you know, what do you think of mono black? or whatever, and I would type that in, and then I would be able to communicate with people, which is nice, because, you know, people like being social and, and chatting it up and things of that nature. So, uh, yeah, that's my just quick run-through. Um, I don't know if I'll be using this for the gameplay. i got to figure out how to get my decks in, <laughs> first of all, and then if I do, I'll be bringing you some games from the new client. All right, so as always, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.